Okay. Uh, so I'm David Bloomberg, and with me are Elizabeth Silver and Maureen Scanlon, who will be voting if we have a vote today, and Sarah Northrup's also on the line, uh, the other member of the board. This is a meeting of the Zoning Board of Appeals. Um, and also with us, Nathan Chung from the City of Northampton Office of Planning and Sustainability. Uh, notice of this hearing was published on uh, August 10th and August 17th. Uh, there's only one item on the agenda. This hearing is being recorded. Um, we always start um, with an opportunity for public comment from members of the public who want to address anything that's not on tonight's agenda. Uh, and Maureen, uh, Nathan, can we just confirm? I don't think I see any members of the public here for public comment. That's correct. No one else is present. Okay, so... Uh, no one is present. So it's after 5.30, we'll move on to the only item on the agenda, which is a continuation of an appeal of the building commissioner's order to remove an unpermitted addition by Richard Watling at 129 Riverbank Road, map ID 25-026, um, uh, granting uh, the appeal or granting the, I think the relief requested on the appeal would require the unanimous vote of three of the three members. And again, that I think would be myself, Elizabeth Silver and Maureen Scanlon, because we're the ones who heard the prior hearings. Um, this hearing had has been continued first from August 25th, 2022, then from December 8th, 2022, and most recently from August 24th, 2023. Um, and uh, I'm pretty sure we're all familiar with the background here. Um, and it's also been recapped in a submission by attorney McLaughlin, who I think who is here. Um, and I understand that um, he is uh, requesting another continuance of this hearing. And maybe I'll, I'll if no board members have any other questions at the outset, um, I'll ask attorney McLaughlin to just bring us up to date and uh, explain the uh, uh, the basis for his request for another continuation of the hearing, please. Uh, thank you. Uh, can you hear me? Uh, yes. Uh, all you. right, good. good. Um, so what has happened is um, my client hired Ward Smith and Ward work, worked with Randy Iser. They put together a plan. They have now filed uh, a notice of intent with the Conservation Commission we are told that there's a tentative date for the uh, notice of intent on the 11th of January. Okay, um, that's I, when I last spoke to Mr. Smith. That wasn't uh, definite yet. It could be a week later, but they're trying to get it on the 11th. Um, he he's fairly confident. He, he thinks that uh, we meet the provisions in um, the Wetlands Act and the Rivers Protection Act. Essentially, what we're doing is using most of the land that we are purchasing from the neighbor uh, to uh, make plantings in conformity with the Wetlands Act. Um, absent somebody requesting a peer review or absent some significant opposition, um, there's a chance that they could actually close the hearing. But Mr. Smith tells me when they close the hearing, they frequently still, well, it still could be a couple weeks before we see a decision. So uh, we had really hoped to get um, a purchase of the subject property in January, but I don't know if that's going to happen uh, because in addition to um, still needing the actual order of conditions, there's a uh, we, there's a 10 day, 10 business day appeal period that we have to uh, make sure it goes by before we do the purchase. So, um, you know, I think we're looking really good. You know, as you know, we've got the zoning relief and it looks fairly good, like we stand a good chance of getting the Conservation Commission relief also. So um, I just don't know if we're going to have it in January. It might be February. Uh, Nathan thought that um, the 22nd of February would be a good date for uh, this board to have a hearing. And I'm hoping that I have come here with good news. That's, that's the hope. Um, that is the plan. Um, the other thing I should bring up is that the special permit um, that was granted by this board says purchase in January and then a hard deadline date where the the permit becomes void in um, 
in, at the end of February. If I don't have the purchase in January, uh, but it's looking good, should I report to this board in writing or something like uh, something akin to that? Or I don't know what the, the chair would like me to do if that is the situation. Yeah, I think that would be helpful. Um, um, but can I, I have, I have some issues just with our even talking about the special permit um, today. Yeah. I, I don't, I don't want to advise um, the attorney about the special permit or what we think is reasonable. I think we're only here on a motion for continuance. And I think that's what I would be the most comfortable just taking up and not having any other conversation. Okay, that's all right. Uh, Nathan, you have a comment? Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you, David and Elizabeth. Yes, thank you for bringing that up. I spoke to the director and she cautioned the conversation to just focus on the appeal itself. The special permit um, discussion, uh, you know, about the potential extension, we can only, st we should just stay on procedural questions and very briefly, uh, the board shouldn't do any evaluation or deliberation on that, um, the related but different special permit. And, uh, you know, we can, you know, it's on the agenda as a non-hearing item. We can just briefly have a procedural uh, conversation about it if the board desires. But otherwise, you know, I can assist uh, Attorney McLaughlin and the applicant with those questions. And I mean, just to reiterate, it's the hard deadline for the special permit is the Feb end of February. And uh, if it's filed, if the applicant has to file another extension, it will be basically like another a new, you know, it's an amendment, an extension and slash mm -hmm. amendment. But it's basically another special permit application. Um, but let, we can just focus on procedural. And right now we can just focus on the appeal itself and, you know, the request okay, so, by the, yeah. So back right. to the appeal then. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Elizabeth. Uh, is it, um, are you asking then for a continuance of the hearing on the appeal, did, did I hear from to February 22nd? Because that's when we could have a hearing date. Is that what I heard? Nathan said that's when you had the closest hearing at the end of February. And I'm hoping to have good news by February 22nd. I'm hoping that, so that I would come here and state that, um, that, the, that the appeal at that point would be moved and that all the zoning relief and the Conservation Commission relief would have been granted and the fines were paid a long time ago. Right. So, um, okay. So that is the request. Do the board members have any questions or comments? No, I appreciate the clarification there. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, I personally am fine with this. Uh, it's, uh, we're closer than we've ever been. I should say the yes. applicant is closer than he's ever been. Um, yes. and I think, so I'm, uh, Elizabeth, did you have any, or Sarah, any other thoughts? Not I. Okay. Nathan, so, yeah. Actually, I have a procedural question. Um, to Nathan's attention, I guess, um, but as these are, you know, simply, I, I think we're talking about a continuation. Do each of these um, hearings, do abutters continue to get notification each time these come forward? No, um, typically uh, the initial hearing, that's when we send uh, two weeks before the initial hearing, we send a notice. This was a unique case because of how uh, many continuations we had over multiple years. Uh, we we sent out a, a special postcard back in August for the August 24th hearing, two weeks before it, um, to sort of uh, jog people's memory and reset the whole um hearing process but typically they or uh, applicants will i mean the neighbors will only get one postcard for the initial hearing okay and and because this is a continuation on uh the uh demolition order um this might be separate but i would like to when we when we do revisit the discussion about the special permit um, I would like to address that because I, I, I realize since so much time has passed, there are new property owners. So abutters who would not have received notice, you know, originally. Because do, do we have the authority to require that? I mean, does in the, the principle I think is that which I, 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 I acknowledge the, the point you're making Maureen and, and the, and, 
and why and the validity. But I guess I have a question for Nathan. Um, normally, the idea is everyone got notice of the first hearing, which meant in theory they had the opportunity to go to that hearing, find out about that continuance. And if they wanted to, they could check in at the continuing, continued hearing. And in theory, they could keep doing that, which I've always understood is the reason that new notices aren't required to go out and traditionally don't go out. It is unusual to have hearings continue for this length of time. So I guess my question, Nathan, is do we know if we have the authority to say we want another round of notices to go to a butters? I, I don't know the answer to that. Yeah, I will have to check with the director. I mean, I think my current sense is you have the the um the ability to advise rec re requested but not necessarily in you know order you know order the city. Um and Maureen, just to clarify, you're asking about the postcard notice for the appeal hearing, right? Not the special right. Program. So it's a little out yeah. of order with what our with our agenda item tonight, but I can't right. really quite under can't figure out the right time to raise that. <laughs> Um, well, I mean, well, so this appeal hearing already having sent two notice, two postcards is sort of an unusual, you know, last year for the first set. And then again, back in August for this, this, yeah. this year's continuation, I, I will clarify, Carolyn. I mean, obviously it's an expense on the city's part to send out another set of postcards for this uh, appeal hearing. I, I understand that's what you're asking. Um, of course, if you're, um, I don't want to deviate, but if you're talking about the potential um, special permit extension, it's a whole new uh, application mm -hmm. technically. So the postcards will go out standard. Yeah. But this particular yeah. appearing that appear hearing that's continued, yeah, it's, it would be unusual to send out another postcard so soon after, relatively speaking, that after that it was sent out in August. I'll, I'll double check with the staff whether yeah. it's advisable yeah. or, or we can whether the board can um, enforce that request. Great. Based on that explanation, I think you've answered my concern. I think your procedure is going to um, satisfy any concerns I have. Uh, uh, you know, separating these two um, uh, items. Yeah. Okay. Thank any you. Other questions? Um, I just um, wanted the reassurance from the appellant that um, while this all continues, that again the property is not being used. Um, that's under the, the tear down order in any respects for any purposes whatsoever, including things like storage. Um, I think in my letter that was a request, we specifically said that in writing, in addition to making all the statutory waivers pertaining to the time frames. There's a paragraph in there that specifically said that. And that's where or that's what you'd be voting on to grant my extension. And you can say pursuant to the terms of the request and that's in there. Okay. Elizabeth, are you comfortable with that? As long as they're assuring that it's not being used for any purpose at all whatsoever. Um, yep. If that's the attorney's uh, acknowledgement. Uh. I'm just, you know what? Let me. It'll take one minute. I've got the letter right here from. Attorney. I've got, I've got the paragraph. If you want it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I did read it, but I must have missed that representation. So. Oh, <laughs> uh, conditions. My client fully understands that no work is to be done on the structural addition to his home. The addition, which is the subject, if this is he'll undertake no work, and he also understands that the structure is not to be utilized. Okay, and that includes storage, right? I believe so. Utilization should be everything. It it should be in its unconstructed, unfinished state without not being utilized for anything. Okay. And there's there's nothing in it that's not being used. I, I don't think believe if so Elizabeth's about it. concern, I think we should if we can amend the wording to be that much more inclusive or specific, I think that mm, mm, well, I'll, I'll accept if the appellant and his attorney is representing that it's not being used in any way, shape, or form, I'll accept that representation. Okay. I, I don't, I, I think if their understanding includes that and they're representing that 
it does include that and they're not using it in that way at all. That's fine. Okay. Well, I, my, my understanding is if, if, if my client um, has things in there, he should remove them. Um, the understanding was it wasn't to be utilized. We didn't specify uh, at the time stuff for storage, but if uh, if there's storage in there, he should remove it. But you know, we my understanding was not to utilize it as a structure. And, and I was stating you want to confirm that that also means storage of anything. And we understand that that's that would be the term. Okay. So I guess we could have just a motion to grant the request for the continuance of this hearing on the appeal of the building commissioner's order to February 22nd. I assume that'd be at 530, right, Nathan? We don't have anything else on then, right? Yes, barring any nothing else. Okay. Um, well, I think we would have to set a time also, don't we? Uh, date and time. So we'll say 530, and it could be the first thing on the agenda, the 22nd. Okay. Great. Do we have a motion on that? Sure. I'll move to, well, as uh, defined, to continue the hearing till f the the date and time identified in February. Okay. And with the existing conditions as detailed here. Okay. Second. I'll second. There's a second, and then we'll just have a roll. I guess we need a roll call. Yes, uh, by roll call, uh, David. Uh, yes. Uh, Elizabeth. Yes. And Maureen. Yes. Unanimous. Okay, thank you. So uh, uh, that's approved for uh, continue continuation until February twenty second, five thirty. Thank you very much. We appreciate okay. it. Hope I, I, I'm going to try to be here with good news. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Um, and then I think we had minutes to approve for tonight. Uh, yes, I read through those uh, motion to approve the minutes. I think it was. I can't remember the date now. I'll second. Uh, what was the date? I, uh, uh, November ninth. Uh, November ninth. Uh, November ninth. Yeah, they they looked fine to me. So they yeah. So fine. so that's moved and seconded. We just need roll call on the motion to okay. approve the November 9th minutes. Okay. Um, by roll call, David. Yes. Maureen. Yes. Elizabeth. Yes. Okay, that's unanimous. That's approved. Thank you. And then, um, is there any other? business to discuss before we adjourn next meetings nathan did you mention we were also going to discuss the special permit so i talked with carolyn um and uh, a board member sort of warned me um you don't need to necessarily discuss it. It just should stay procedural, non evaluative. It can be very okay. quick. Yeah. Um. I mean, it's really more and of a I question. I know that yeah. uh, Mr. Watling's yeah. still on the call with us. Oh, okay. So, um, um just, so, just wanted to note that. Thank you. So um, I'm not sure what there is to discuss. The, the right. Special, I don't, right. Yeah. I'm not sure if there's anything to discuss. Well, uh, we're going to revisit all of this uh, because there's an expiration date procedurally. There's an expiration date on the special permit we granted, conditions that had to be met. And hopefully we'll find out on February 22nd that those were conditions, those conditions were met. If not, I the yeah. applicant has various options uh, and will uh, address whatever is submitted to us. How does that sound? Yeah, I only raised it because I was trying to keep up with the emails from the office and it sounded like we were potentially going to um, discuss that. But I think I'm... No, you... clarified that. Nathan has clarified that. You're, you're you're right, Maureen. I just um I I put it just to kind of clarify, but I realized maybe it wasn't even necessary. Um, and again, Carolyn warned me just focus on procedures and don't yeah. need to really go into details. Basically, it'll be a new, it'll be basically a new application, although it's technically an extension. Uh, if the applicant's not able to meet the uh, February end of February deadline to acquire the stripper property, they'll basically have to uh, file a, another special permit with the same content, basically. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Um, and, and then um, I think I saw Maurice, Jan 
And to Maureen's um, question around the notice, I assume the Conservation Commission, when they take up the notice before them, that they will be sending out about our notices, won't they? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, um, so it's sort of back backwards, but you know, it'll still be there. Yeah, the the Conscom um, procedures are a little um, little quicker. There's less like notification, less time allowed to actually make the decision. Well, I mean, that's that's detail that the you know, the board doesn't need to concern themselves with, but necessarily, but uh. Yeah, um, they they will be notified. Um, yeah, I don't know the details about it. Uh, unfortunately, I can ask if the board requests. But uh, it's okay. Yeah. I just I yeah. just wanted to mention that Maureen yeah. is a yeah, little right. bit of a backup, Thank and you. I do it. Right. I do appreciate you raising that only because you know the last round there was an additional comment that we got, and I do think that it, you know rather than fading from people's minds, this does make sense. So th um, thank you, Nathan, for raising this with Carolyn and seeing. Um, you know what what the rules are with respect to that. So, do we have a meeting on December twenty eighth? Oh no, no meeting. Um, I'll remember to take it off the calendar if I still have it. We okay. the the next uh, tentative meeting date is um uh, this uh, sorry um January eleventh two thousand twenty four. <laughs> and and Can't get here fast enough. Okay. And uh, I I did uh, mention um I did mention in the agenda that there's one tentative item we actually have two, um and you know we'll go into details you know in the email uh, you know as the date nears but basically we have two um non-conforming setback uh houses where they're trying to either expand or simply modify the um, existing house for a more intense use. Okay. So, um, do we know if people are available? I, I may be yeah, in that's, London yeah. and it'll be very late at night for me to phone it, you know, join that one from London if I am in London. Do we know, do we have, a, does anyone have an idea of their availability? Um, January 11th. I'll be available. I should be here. So Elizabeth. Oh, I, I will have an issue with the first February meeting, but um, up in, other than that, I should be around. So, Sarah, yeah. Sarah, do you know if you're available? Jan you are January 11th, as far as you know. Uh, yeah. January 11th. Okay. I, I might I might be around. It's really tentative. Uh, okay. I was just saying. I, I, I am. Day. I am available January. Okay. Great. I okay. always I always appreciate when we can have a full roster of board members. Yeah, well, I, I learned we from everybody. Check, yeah, we'll check with nice. Sherry as well. Yeah, it's nice to see you, Sarah. Thank you. Nice to see you. Mm -hmm. So I guess just we're a motion to adjourn then would work. So moved. Okay. I'll second. Okay. Okay. Roll call, please. Uh, David. Yes. And uh, Maureen? Yes. And Elizabeth? Yep. Okay, thank you.